Hi everyone, my name is Jacques-Christophe Schwinard and today I'm going to teach you again about Notebook LM and how you can use it to gain uh, insights into how language, large language model uh, rank your content based on the prompting you do. And yesterday I made one of these posts about Notebook LM and how you can use it to build your own rag pipeline. I invite you to watch this video. And one thing about uh sharing these stuff is that you get insights from the community and uh, zachary here sh shared something i didn't see in the first place and it is how to build a mind map into notebook lm so what i did is essentially i've added a bunch of sources based on the query um so essentially i have five sources here and one thing you can do about that is you can learn how to build a mind map so you see here this bottom with the mind map and what it does is that it creates a ma mind map on your content so here essentially the co the core concept of all those pages is cheap hotels in boston and and uh that makes sense because the query i initially made uh to put to choose those pages to show was cheap hotels in boston so that makes sense um and what you can learn here is by uploading the page at rank. So if you go here and you search for cheap hotels in Boston, then uh, you get those pages ranking. So if you take those pages and you upload them into Notebook LM, then you get uh, a bunch of sources. And essentially, that's what I did here. Uh, so if you look at this, uh, let me zoom in. You see that the mind mapping sources showed uh, cheap hotel Boston and i took those four four sources uh, so that's interesting uh, you can learn one thing is first thing is one of these source was not uploaded in there why is that who knows i don't know so you can investigate this why is the source not showing here uh that that would be a good thing to tell you that yeah well, your website is not ranking that well uh, the main context here is recommended hotels. So what are the cheap hotels? And wow, that gives you a ton of potential hotel. Are you missing a few of these hotels on your website? If no, maybe uh, it's a good thing to like fill in the gaps that are in there. So you could look, okay, am I ranking for this stuff? Like, is it one of my hotel? And if you click on it, then you get like an overview. And here, uh, unfortunately, like this is a booking.com uh, resource. Is TripAdvisor on here? No, maybe my TripAdvisor page should be showing up here or maybe not but that's still a very interesting feature that i just discovered about and you can look at travel season and who is covering the travel season for example um, so if i look at this i can see okay look at that is described as very busy high season let's see who tells me about that oh yeah this was my trip advisor page showing up in this this portion so that tells us essentially what are all, all the main topics covered by you and your competitions and where are you missing out on so this is a fan fantastic feature by Notebook Helen that you can leverage to understand about your content. Uh, the other thing that is interesting here is that you could have your uh, a different set of pages and have uh, a different uh, mind map. So if I come back here and I do a separate RAG pipeline, so I have a separate set of page. And this time it was not for cheap hotels, but it was for actual hotels. So if I come back here, I refresh and I do a mind map, you'll see how it can differ uh, from depending on the, the the type of pages that you do so we've are, i'm currently generating but here my query was indeed boston hotels so that is interesting like the main entity those page are doing such a good job at targeting that main intent that the llm understand that uh, this is the main context here as you can see it's slightly different um the sources are at the first level. So if we look at this, we get 
uh, Condé Nash showing hotels. We get TripAdvisor showing hotels. And where it's interesting here is that, okay, Condé Nast have 10 hotels, TripAdvisor will have a lot more. But the other thing is, look at this. Condé Nast has an HTML structure that ranks with the number here. Is it valuable? I don't know. But here's a big difference. Here, if you click on it, you can see that a score shows up here so that's interesting uh one experiment that we could do would be to change the actual file that i have here on and just add a score manually see if that changes anything if i can get a different mind map here uh, and see how that can uh, do a difference if i look at the featured hotels why is that okay look at that what can I learn about various hotels? See how booking is also different? Uh, it, like our structure on TripAdvisor is mostly oriented towards the actual hotel, similar to what Condé Nast does. But when you look at booking, uh, the infrastructure, the large language model understand this structure as the category of types of hotel, and then it drills down into each hotel type. Uh, so that could be a good idea to look at how is the booking page structure. So we can go booking.com, Hotels Boston. Let's look at this, Hotels, this Hotel Boston. And then you look at this, is there a big difference? Why is the LLM understanding that page in this structure? Maybe it's because of those headings. Maybe that's how it works so let's look at this hotels with parking so let's search for parking here um, maybe it's in the links good parking facilities oh maybe that's why private parking okay uh, so it would look like this kind of context might have an influence on how how you do this. Um, look, I'm doing a very quick analysis. I don't want to go too deep in this. I'm more interested in the actual tool, but you can understand how like those structure are done. Uh, you can see those are not the same hotels showing up for each of these categories. So there is definitely something coming going in here uh it doesn't tell uh, how well you rank or whatever but it does give you a fantastic insight into your website so this is already very long so thank you very much and stay tuned for the next tutorial